Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Breitling Montbriant de Tora, limited edition of 25 pieces in platinum. You can see and you can purchase this 25 piece limited edition triple calendar Breitling Montbriant chronograph on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop and naturally complete pricing details for this Breitling Montbriant de Tora. Now released in 2002, this model is not exceptionally rare though it is one of the less common Breitling variants of the circular slide rule chronograph but when you add the detail of full platinum construction, suddenly the timepiece exists in a stratum of Breitling production in which very, very, very few references share its company. Platinum Breitling watches do not just come along every day. They don't come along every week, and I have to admit that in my entire four years of reviewing watches, this may be the first Platinum Breitling that I've encountered. That should frame the rarity of this watch. It feels and looks just as special on the wrist. Now, the timepiece is a robust 43 millimeters across the round of the case from 9 to 3, not including chronograph pushers or crown. It's a fairly thick watch as well, though perhaps not as thick as its splayed case band would suggest. 14.3 millimeters thick means it will actually slide underneath a suit jacket cuff or a blazer sleeve, just not the dress cuff beneath. Lug to lug, it's a Breitling, which is to say it has broad and pronounced lugs, but they're surprisingly compact in this model. 51.2 millimeters lug to lug means I can actually wear this wrist on my 16 centimeter circumference forearm, and I believe if your wrist is as small as 15 centimeters in circumference, you should still have no trouble wearing this one with security as well as good proportion, and you won't have to worry about lug overlap until your wrist is below 15 centimeters in circumference. Now, if you do want to accessorize, the lug spacing of this watch is 22 millimeters, so that should give you a sense of what to order from Breitling or from an aftermarket supplier of your choice. The strap is appropriate to the watch, though aviator in style with leather and a contrasting white stitch on a black base. It's not the common calfskin, it's the more expensive and durable alligator as you can see. Medium rectangular scale black alligator leather with a contrasting white stitch Folded shear edges, they're, they're actually a combination of folded and shear because they're pulled down over a shear flank, but you can't see the multiple layers of the leather built up top each other. Now the calfskin on the underside is a more natural tone and a more natural grain, and the clasp is quite substantial. As you can see, it is a minderless system, so it tucks excess length underneath its body by crimping, with the happy consequence that there are no perforations to gouge and age your strap, and there are no minder loops to to wear, fall off, or create an awkward aesthetic. It's a very clean look when buckled on the wrist as you simply tuck the excess length underneath the clasp. Now I will mention one salient feature of this clasp, which is that for the sake of strength, it's been made of white gold, which is the hardest of the three principal golds and significantly harder since these components are functional, mechanical, and thin than platinum. Nevertheless, the clasp does have a significant weight about it to counterbalance the platinum case on your wrist such that it doesn't want to tip over or go diving. It doesn't want to hula hoop or move. That's thanks to the heavy counterweight of the clasp on the other side. Heavy watch, heavy clasp, or bracelet. That's my rule of thumb for a watch that can be worn relatively loose without excessive movement. Now the case is simple. Traditional Navitimer design, strong lugs. You can see there's a little bit of a fasting about the lug, a little bit rounded to soften the blow of the geometry. It's a watch that's designed to mix the masculine angles of the traditional Navitimer case with a little bit of feminine curvature, and you can see that most pronounced in the case band. You'll also note the pusher adjuster for the day of the week in the calendar. The knurling on the bezel is deep and sharp edged, the better to make it very easy to gain purchase. And what you want to do is use this as a calculator for multiplication and division. It's absolutely critical that you spend three to ten minutes learning to use this circular slide rule and trust me, you will embarrass your friends with their calculators on their smartphones. When it comes time to calculate a tip at the local restaurant, you will blaze past them with this bezel. I will also mention that the watch has a striking combination of a silver outer bezel, black inner dial, shocks of red, and a white metal case, which means it has the classical sporting black 
black, white, red tritone of many of the great sports chronographs of the 20th century. It was a look that looked great in the 40s, 50s, and 60s in the 20th century and looks just as good today. Also, if you're a holder, one who buys to keep, it'll look just as good in the 40s, 50s, and 60s of this century, the years to come. Highly calibrated, but easy to read once you get a handle on it. You'll note that most of what you see is actually calibration for the bezel. If you're not using it, three registers, you've got constant seconds, which is actually within a 24 hour register at nine o'clock, chronograph hours, chronograph minutes, day, day, or I should say, day, month, date. It uses a crescent style radial date indicator. And you'll note that there is a small and double superimposed scale at 9 o'clock where constant seconds actually sits just underneath the 24 hour dial. Now when you take control of your watch, let's roll it through midnight just to make sure it's not in the setting danger zone. I don't want to accidentally try to sit. Yep, there, it was in the danger zone. Roll it through midnight. And now you can see how the quick set function for the date works and it's used to advance the month. So you have quick set for the date and the month and of course you have the push adjuster on the flank for the day. The chronograph is basically a Valjoux 7751 in chronometer grade, which is to say it's a very efficient winder, it's a very tough movement, and COSC certified with a chronometer grade drivetrain, chronometer grade regulator, chronometer grade hairspring and balance. It is a very precise watch. What it is not is a water resistant watch as the timepiece, though it has a screwed down case back, is water resistant to 30 meters. You don't want to test the limits of this one. This is one of the rare brushes with high horology on the basis of the exotic case material that you will find in the Breitling Historic Catalog. A stunningly good looking watch with an everyday complication in the triple calendar, perhaps the king of complications with the chronograph, and the allure, whether you use it or not, of the circular slide rule calculator bezel that dates back to 1954 and the very first of the Breitling Navitimers. Yes, I subscribe to the 1954 theory, but that's another story for another day. You can see and you can purchase this handsome and rare 25 piece Breitling Montbriant de Tora in platinum on our website. And I'm back with the one of 25 limited edition Breitling Montbriant de Tora in platinum. You can see robustly visible by the glow of its Luminova. Two features I omitted in the previous discussion, 42 hour power reserve, and yes, it does feature hacking seconds for precise setting. See it and all of its features in platinum by the light of day on our website.